in California has been closely watching the really? Afghan chaos. And what are you doing in New York? First of all, before we get to the serious stuff here. Occasionally, I have to come into the mothership yeah. just to re-energize my say, dilithium right. crystals. Because people feel that you don't have legs. Yes. You know, they don't see your legs. It's just Miller from the no. waist up. No, granted, I have you the know. core strength of FDR and the shallow end at Warm Springs. Now, people were running in legs. saying, we know it's Halloween, Miller is in the building. Yes. I thought that was cruel. <laughs> Actually, why I'm here is very important business. I'm coming in to do some last second lobbying to try to get the Macy's people to put the Bill O'Reilly balloon that I've designed in for this year's parade. <laughs> and get this, you protect the underdog balloon. Do you Excellent. love that? You protect I love that. the underdog I love that. balloon. For the Macy's Thanksgiving parade. Exactly. The they factor balloon. And they're just like this, uh, they, knocking there. people away, protecting the underdog. I, I, but what, I like the Miller balloon, too. <laughs> All right. Uh, Afghanistan. Now, you saw at the top of the program that uh, Barack Obama does delay, delay, delay. And uh, do you think it's a legitimate point in delay? Well, listen, I hated it when they judge Bush in that seat. It's the hottest of all it seats. It is, that's and, for sure. And the, the Monday morning quarterbacking on it is, uh, it's nonstop. So I'm going to give the guy a wide berth. I would say this, though, out of the soldiers I've met over the last two years, I'm hardly Ernie Powell, but I've met a few, I think that they would rather go in harm's way if their brethren are already in harm's way than do a perpetual holding pattern. These guys want to... Uh, yeah, let's uh, win it or get out. Yeah, exactly. Win it Billy. or get out. And at this point, it's becoming... I know you're a civil... or you're a history buff like me. You remember during the Civil War when Lincoln cables General McClellan, and he said, if you're not going to use my army, may I borrow it? Because right. I'd like to use it. Because McClellan wouldn't fight. Yeah, well, it's sort of inverted here. I think McChrystal say, hey, listen, if you're not going to use your army, can I borrow yeah, it? Because we'd like to fight. I think he's going to do it, but I do think there's something in there, and we'll find out what it is that's delaying him. All right, the Obama Boys Club, you're a man's man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you think there's any validity to this, that he's no. just hanging with the guys too much? No. I no. mean, they ascribe so many Christ-like qualities to this guy on the left. You knew he was going to have 12 guys around him at every time of the day. That's, I yeah, mean, that's a good point. Just, now, who is the Judas, though. That's who we have to find out. I don't know. I think I saw John Dean in that hoop game. Maybe they're bringing him back from uh, Now, here, here's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and, uh, so, I'm, yeah. you know, here they are. Now, see that right there, that picture right. shoots holes in the theories, because I find Gibbs a little effeminate. Oh. Do you really? <laughs> no, Do you really find him a feminine? I'm just doing a shot at kids right. okay. he's the I don't. I, I think those are macho guys. I think those guys spit in the Oval Office. That's how tough they are, <laughs> all right? That's what I think. The spittoons, you know, they're, well, listen, they they're said, giving each other wedgies. Yeah, just, That's what I think is going on. Yeah, it is a bit, of a, uh, yeah. a bit of a locker room thing. I just wish occasionally they'd roll up the towel and whack the terrorists. That's yeah. what we need, you know. Okay. It's, uh, but, no, I, I think a, a lot of that stuff's overlooked. And, you know, the, the women don't care. They're that, uh, what is her name? The Gallery communications Jarrett? director. Oh, oh, Anita Dunn. Yeah, they're not. She doesn't dig jocks. She digs thinking men like Maltese. <laughs> yeah, so no, no, I don't no. think she's bothered that she's on the outside there. Much ado about nothing, I'd okay. say, Billy. Really. Sean Penn going to Cuba for Vanity Fair magazine on a private jet. Yeah. Yeah, Sean's not going on the, uh, on the raft, which what? I would have liked to have seen from Key West take the raft, yeah. you know, as the experience With of the people. Clorox bottle right. floaties. Just the other way. Yeah, but no, he goes on a private jet. What do you think? Well, he seems to have that. You remember when uh, the, the uh, intelligentsia in, in New York always has had a thing for the bad boys, like Jack Henry Abbott, Mailer was his uh, right. Yoda for a while, and then they, the crazy Joe Gallo. They like to run with the bad boys, and there's something about Hollywood and something about Penn in specific. He digs hanging with these, th these bad guys. But, you know, he's got to remember that Castro makes Hugo Chavez like, look like Utant. If, if John Penn was doing his art down in Cuba and it was against this man, Quite frankly, you know, the, the band would pull up at 3 in the morning. and You don't get an Oscar down there. You get a, a headstone. Do you know him, Penn? Do you, have you ever met him? I did a week on Saturday Night Live with him, and all I can tell you is he was one of the most charming cats we ever had on there. He was a but cat? I, he was he dressed well, as a cat? Uh, no, just a good oh. guy. Sent a nice thank you note. Very sort of humble. But I do remember this. He had kind of gone into the fame bubble of around 14 or 15, and I remember thinking parts of him were, you know how you stagnate at a certain place when he became Sean Penn at 14 years old, and some of it seemed a little almost childlike to me. And when you read his writings, it's it never is childlike. His, it's, it's like <clears throat> William Burroughs meets, uh, right. you know, a child writer or something. It's, but I don't know why anybody on earth would care what Sean Penn thinks of Fidel Castro. Do you? No, but I, I just think Vanity Fair does, and I would remind you that it's 
Over at Vanity Fair, it's a little less about the fair than it used to be and a little more about the, the vanity. vanity. Okay. Uh, now we have a soundbite we'd like to play. Miller is a big war, uh, global warming yeah, guy. Yeah, what's happening in the war? I haven't yeah. seen this clip yet. Something uh, new in global but warming? I, wanna, I just want to say that. Miller's a big global warming guy. You know, he's got pictures of polar bears. I've seen him in his house. Mm -hmm. um, and he's very, very concerned. And so are a bunch of models. Very concerned about global warming. Roll the tape. All right. I'm burning. I'm burning. I'm burning. I'm on fire. I don't know how much longer I can take it. I can take it. Glaciers are melting. Melting. Sea levels are rising. Dry, Dry places, places have, have droughts. We need to cool off. Well, that convinced me there is global warming. Yeah, and where? That convinced me. Well, I'm on board with Al Gore now. And where is the downside? As a matter that's of right. Fact. They didn't tell me the carbon footprint was going to be a stiletto heel, or I might have said that earlier. If that's what global warming's <laughs> leading to, Miller and I are down with it. Well, you know, I, I must say it puts a whole new light on for me. But I think that global warming is caused. Uh, at the end of the day, I think it's caused by. Whatever smoke gore is blowing out of his rear end on a daily basis. Well, I think he can write another book now, An Inconvenient Shoe. Well, whatever the case, <laughs> I just think that this is going to make his case more than any speech he could give. Just That's show right. this tape. This is what they should have done in the beginning. <laughs> really? This is what they... The polar bears, everybody's going, hey, you know. No, but nobody now, buying that. No, no, you get now, the models in the undies, men are signing up left and right. There you go. Now, every every... You know, red blooded. This American. is the way you pitch that That's cause, right? right Miller there, and I right. have now changed our opinion on global. I'm going to go out and march for it right now. Yankees or Phillies? Huh? Uh, well, I'm in New York. What do I to say? Maybe the Yanks, just because Mariano Rivera. Very good. If, if that isn't the cause of global warming, his his fastball is. Yeah, so, you I think know, the Yankees it. will take him too. But I admire the Phillies. I think. I think the team. Phillies, but right. come on. I mean, I mean, when when in Rome, do as the Romans do, Billy. Miller, did you see that up next? The man who impregnated Britain.